Buzzer, what is happening YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at y'all with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. The, the, the YouTube channel where we are taking your requests every single day, um, seven days a week, man. It, it's, it's just been an ongoing cycle that I am proud to be a part of with you guys. So make sure you keep them requests coming down in the comments section. Uh, but for today's build, I have a request from a couple of people, cool dude 101 his comment has 34 likes by the way, uh, PB Cuber, Slippery Fellow R33, Cam TV Gaming, RJ Amazing, RJ Amazing Gaming, Subi, Jason Clark, Holden Car Guy, RST Sphinx, Untrue Panda, Phase Fan, Toxic F8, and Bryce Pandas all want to see my dream car build. Now, typically, I would take your request, man, but since so many people requested to see uh, a build of my choosing and my dream car, I think it's only right that we take care of that right now. Now, when I think of dream car, I think of something practical. Now, obviously, Something that I would long for would be a Lamborghini, a Ferrari, or something of that nature. But for me, my dream car is just something that I can drive every single day and that looks good, is perf like performs great, has amazing style. And for me, I'm a big fan of Mercedes. Now, not this Mercedes AMG GTR, which you see we already own. Um, not the GTS, not even the G Wagon. For me, though, um, my dream car is the Mercedes Benz C63. This specific body style, because it's changed, um, I believe there is the newer body style AMG. Where is it? The C, yeah, right here. I really don't like that new body style, man. For me, it's got to be this original style, probably a sedan. But since we can't get the sedan, we're going to go with this C63 Coupe Black Series, man. This is by far my like dream car. Now, a buddy of mine does actually own one of these in real life. It's blacked out, sedan. The thing's an absolute monster. Um, had the opportunity to sit in it, um, not drive it, unfortunately, but just a beautiful car inside and out like the seats they just they have like they hug your your back you know what i mean it's not like any seat that i've ever sat in before it's like they have adjusted bolstering so you can close it in on your on your back it's i i'm just not going to get too much into the details but this is definitely my dream car um, so we're going to get into this one and build it as though I would own it in real life. Now, we're not going to have this matte black paint job uh, throughout this build, but we're just going to start out with it. We're going to get into the upgrades, check out a couple of our options. Now, right off of the bat, engine swap, not even necessary. Drivetrain, I, I would leave it rear-wheel drive because who doesn't love drifting? aspiration i don't know what it would take to possibly twin turbo or supercharge one of these cars i don't even think it would be necessary man leave it na uh, most definitely let's check out some of our options here as far as the front end probably would leave the stock front bumper and i'm thinking probably leave the stock Ooh, i like that little shaved back end there nah we gotta have that lip on there most definitely um as far as the wheels go now you got to have a nice tire compound. I wouldn't go with the tire lettering, though, um, just because I think it, it doesn't really suit a Mercedes. Um, as far as the tire width goes, front and back, I would make it as wide as possible. Now, here's where things really need to get dialed in because you got to find a wheel that is going to work with this. And I have in mind, like, this is already pretty close to what I would have on there. But I'm just going to skim through a couple more options here. Until I find something that I'm really looking for. Now for me, I've always been a strong believer that these cars look very nice with a 5-spoke wheel. And for me, these HRE 945s are looking on point. I mean, just look at that. Nice little dish, nice spokes. We're going to go ahead and install this real quick. Now, 
Let's see here. 19s. I think I'd probably go with a 20 on this car. I think it would be appropriate, man. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install those real quick. Now, as far as the drivetrain goes, these things don't come with a manual transmission, which is very unfortunate. Um, however, the automatic in these cars, from what I understand, is more than capable of handling the power. Um, the brakes don't really need to be upgraded on this car. Now, it's already a very expensive brake system that it comes with factory. But for the sake of doing the build, how I would want it, typically I'd want to upgrade the brakes. Um, definitely would lower it a little bit. As you can see, just lowering it that little amount makes it look absolutely sick. Any roll bars, all this business, I wouldn't be too concerned with because really this would be just a straight line car. Um, wouldn't really track it or do too many turns with it. Right off of the bat though, I would most definitely put an intake on it. And honestly, all I would probably do is just a race exhaust, straight pipe, um, probably from the cat back, keep everything legal. And I think that would probably be more than loud enough. You know, very modest. I Like I say, most people would want to go Lamborghini, something very expensive, man. This is like, just look at how sexy that, look, that looks, man. We haven't even put a paint job on this thing yet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install everything there. $33,000. No big dealsy, really. Um, back it on up and jump into, I guess, the tuning before we get into the paint. Now, the alignment, I would probably not even lie. I'd probably do a little slam and stand, some nice camber in the back. These cars just look so nice, and I really... The people that buy these cars, in my opinions, are they have more... They have class, you know what I mean? They're very classy cars. Um, you don't typically see them stanced out or slammed or anything like that. Um, so I'd like to be one of the first, man. Uh, so next up, designs and paints. Like I said, this matte black paint job definitely wouldn't be staying. I would, however, just keep a nice gloss black, man. I really like the way that looks. Now, I would black out the trim around the windows, probably leave the grill. I don't mind the grill being black. Just leave the, you know, that black, or sorry, the chrome piece on the back. Did I say black? Black out the chrome around the windows and the chrome piece on the trunk there. Um, since we can't do that in Forza, I guess we're going to go ahead and leave it. Now, you guys do know my signature car color is the black and the gold. Let's see if it would work for this. I think that it would, but we need to just fine-tune this color just a touch here. Yes, indeed, man. That thing is looking beastly, man. Um, if you guys are subscribed to my main channel... Uh, youtube.com slash Denali you will know that black and gold is my current color scheme on my g35 and I'm just in love with it still I'm thinking of maybe swapping it out to just a black straight black on black to keep it nice and low key for the summer since I am going to be upgrading some uh, rather obnoxious mods but yeah man let's just carry on that color combo to this car right now since that is a favorite of mine. What else? <coughs> and yeah, I think that's about it. We are ready to hit the road in this thing. So first and foremost, let's just take a little look at this thing. Make sure you guys get a nice little 360. Make sure you love it as much as I do. Just look at this thing, man. That is sex, man. That That is just absolute friggin dope man love that wheel combo right here. just look at the hood look at the hood it looks like it's on steroids man okay there's a barn find rumor that we could investigate no be quiet like me to set a route there for you just listen to this these things are so ridiculously obnoxious now my buddy that does own one of these things ooh, oh that shift it's not even that it's fast, it just sounds so good. I told him, man, I'm like, dude, put an exhaust on this thing. But he, you know, at the time his girl was pregnant. Now she's got a kid and everything like that. So it's, he can't really, you know what I mean? Well, once you get to that family man time, especially with a little baby, you got to wait till they're at least 
like, you know, two, three, four before you start blowing out their eardrums with loud cars and stuff, but... Woo! Okay, can we just uh, take the time to appreciate this launch here? Let me just get on it. Listen to this shit. Ooh! Ooh! It's just there, man. It's just there in the RPM range. Oh, man, I could only imagine what this thing would be like with a turbo. To be honest, I'd probably throw a supercharger on it, if anything. Because I think, like, it's a very linear, like, there's no punch where the tires break loose. No peak in power anywhere along the power band range. So I think keeping it supercharged would probably keep that aspect of it. Oh, yes, tunnel run, baby, tunnel run. Ooh. Oh, man. If you guys ever see me retire from the Nissan game because I have too much money and I have, like, money, more than enough money to buy, like, you know, a better car than a Nissan or Infiniti, which, by the way, are still great cars, this is what I would be in, man. This right here. Now, I had the opportunity to trade my Altima for a C300, I believe it was. It would have been a good trade, and it would have been by far a much better car, but the maintenance on one of these German cars is just ridiculous. I knew a guy who had a BMW M5 with the V10, uh, dual clutch transmission and everything, and the transmission was starting to slip, and he legit, it was going to cost like seven grand to to replace the transmission which is you know like only a few grand less than what he actually paid for the car so it's hard man especially when you don't have expendable money like that uh you know if you got an extra like five ten g's to just throw down when something goes wrong on one of these cars for sure it's a good thing but i mean when something goes wrong on a car like this it is not going to be cheap brakes nothing nothing's cheap you know, I just, I can't imagine that a wheel bearing on this car is going to cost the same price as my Infiniti G35, you know what I mean? And that is why it is my dream car is because, um, you know, I aspire to be at the level financially where I can buy, not only buy a car, like I can probably go out and buy one of these cars like tomorrow. But to be able to maintain it and upkeep it as well as modify it to the way that I want, I, I feel like I would have to have a lot of money to do that. And that is why it is a dream uh, car of mine. Let's get this little drift zone happening here. Taking out the flags. Bud, get out of my way. It drifts very nice too, man, especially since it has race tires and such a heavy, uh, beefy tire on it. Oh, we getting them achievements. Any wheel spin for that? <laughs> I guess not. At least one star? Come on, Forza, give me a break, man. This is your boy down squad we talking about here. Um, but yeah, man, definitely a car that I can only dream of having one day. Um see here i think we're gonna pull off in this guy's little farmhouse here find a nice spot to take a, what is this nsx just chilling here buddy you're gonna get friggin your car stolen if you're just leaving it there but i'm gonna come back with a pickup truck and take that man um so yeah there it is ladies and gentlemen the mercedes-benz amg c63 now i believe there's a c69 which is even even more rare of a uh, of a car now i can just imagine what it would cost to fix that car but um yeah this thing is just absolutely sick let me see Re repair cosmetic damage yeah let's do that oh it doesn't get oh there it goes all right no more dirt spots um yeah that's it right there the mercedes mercedes amg c63 just an absolute a car that i aspire to own one day just just look at this thing man um so as always if you guys enjoyed this one which i hope that you did uh don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to leave your comments down in the comments section because we are still taking requests just today i 
thought I'd take the opportunity to show you guys what I aspire to have in real life. Uh, just an absolutely badass mafia car. It's mafioso, man. Um, so as always, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Um, and I think we covered the basis, man. So with that being said, I think I said with that being said like 20 times at the end of each video. I'm your boy Denali, a.k.a. Don Squally. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. We're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Recovery of a lifetime. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh! Ah. Yeah, just keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the racer anymore.